New mobs, structure overhauls, accidental secret releases, oh my. It was but just a mere few days ago, a brand new Minecraft update, Minecraft preview, bunch of numbers released. Inside of this preview, we've got some gigantically significant changes and, oh, well, it's been 84 years, hasn't it? Hey, gosh, I feel like it was just a few days ago I was making dramatic video talking about how I'm gonna do more modded videos and then poof, all of a sudden, couple months in the future and oh, whew, haven't done this in a while. I'm a little bit rusty. Over here, next to former sacred tree, the naturally spawned, the pink sheep seems to have taken a liking to it, devoured two blocks of this thing. We have our first big change, didn't see this one coming. This, p that name, that beautiful name, almost as if it's a hint or something, it involves this enchantment. Fortune 3, Netherward. If I had a fully grown in Netherward for the very first time ever, I would be able to actually fortune the nether one. that's nice and all but that's not really where the actual fun comes in though beautifully the fortune buff none of us saw coming inside of this beta it spills over into the melon as well it spills over into redstone or so a little bit better and then maybe best of all it spills over into glowstone maybe you couldn't get so touch well no big deal because very consistently almost every time i'm getting four glowstone dust that's practically soaked touch in the block right there. As you might suspect, all of these beautiful new fortune changes are parody changes to match the Java's fortune enchantment identically. Gotta be honest, I didn't see this one coming, but with the context of the fortune updates from the last update, it makes perfect sense. You wonder if this means any other enchantment changes will be coming soon. Cough, cough, sweeping edge. It's no lie, the changes inside of this week's preview are truly all over the place. Over here on Minecraft to Java Edition, this beautiful sea. It's quaint, it's simple, it's really not too much, but something about a plains biome, you know how I feel about a plains biome spawn, and it evokes some raw, strong emotion from me. It's innate beauty, it's just simple. Doesn't get more early game than this. Mix in some spawn structures, and oh, it gets even more beautiful. And, oh, and speaking of spawn structures, one of the most beautiful structures of all time, the Minecraft 1.21 Trial Chamber Structure. You'd have to be living under a rock to not know that Minecraft 1.21 is essentially the Zelda update of all time. It's a big dungeon update. The main thing at this point inside of this update is this giant structure that's going to be randomized different every single time you find it. You head into the thing, you take on the trial, you do the struggle, and hopefully you come out of this thing with a little bit more than glow berries offered to you as a nice reward. For the longest time, over here on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, there was a giant mob missing from the trial chambers at all. Baby, and finally, the journey is over. It actually exists over here, the brand new bogged mob. We talked all about this in last week's snapshot video, so if you don't know about it, you gotta know about it. It's beautiful. So what I wanted to do over here is run a couple of final tests that I actually have not run quite yet. Or at least one of the tests I have not run quite yet on either version of Minecraft. Here we have all three skeleton variants that are now in Minecraft. Oh, and if you were curious about the bug, can it spawn with armor, ruining your day 10 times more? Oh, absolutely. Just like all other mobs in Minecraft that can spawn with armor, <laughs> so can this terrible boggy skeleton. All right, so over here in survival, as we can see, these skeletons have a long, long lock-on range. They see me from far away. Very interestingly, it looks like the bog on Minecraft the Bedrock Edition is very buffed up. This is pretty much the only test that didn't run. The bog skeleton is meant to shoot arrows a little bit slower than its than its bony counterparts. Because of that, the poison is deadly. It's terrible. The poison it seems to last the same amount of time that it lasts on Minecraft Java. That's gonna be a total of four seconds per arrow. This sword, with one of the most beautiful names of all time, maybe another hint or something, should be able to one hit a bog without any armor on. Bog without any armor, no critical? Goodbye, dear friend. Meanwhile, the skeleton right here is gonna take two hits in the stray as well. It doesn't have less health or anything like that. That's gonna be two hits too. I really hope this was an oversight though and this mob will get a little bit speed decrease in the next update because that is really, really terrible and, and just disgustingly deadly. That's too quick. Just like on Java, you'll be able to find this bog skeleton in the swamp biome, but also the chambers. I saw a little bit of confusion about it, but basically how it works is any trial chamber has different categories of mobs. You're going to be able to find mobs that are called small mobs. You're going to be able to find mobs that are called melee mobs. And finally, you'll find ranged mobs as well. 
For example, this random trial chamber structure. And when it comes to our melee mob up close and personal, it's gonna be a husk. The dead giveaway was the sandstone, but if you didn't know, you walk up closer, you'd see a husk inside of this thing. That's gonna mean the other melee mobs, for example, normal zombie, off the books. You'll never find it inside of this chamber. As of this preview, you'll not be able to find the bogged in some trial chambers, but that's not even the most beautiful change. Over on Minecraft Bedrock Edition now, completely different world. This world should look vaguely familiar. It's that beautiful, simple spawn with the planes biome all over the place. Now structures, they're not in perfect parity, or at least like every structure isn't. For example, on Minecraft Bedrock at World Spawn, we've got this village inside of the sea. On the other hand, Minecraft to Java, it's not exactly placed in the same spot. I think the village should theoretically be right there, but instead we have an outpost at World Spawn with another village nearby. With the trial chambers being right now the biggest part of 1.21, oh boy, they better be common, and they better be pretty similar on both versions. Veterans will know that the trial chambers up until this point has been insanely uncommon on Bedrock. You would find it like once every 2,000 blocks sometimes. Well, this time, now, it's in perfect parody. Yes, yes, that's right. For the very first time ever, the trial chambers is now actually easy to find on Bedrock. Hey, with an asterisk, it's more common now, though. If everything works as intended, trial chambers should now be placed, keyword placed, at the same spot on both versions. Let's, Let's test, test it. it. All right, so flying around in Spectator here, take a look at this trial chamber. I can assure you that it generated at approximately the same spot on Minecraft to Java, but take note of the details here. Powder snow room, for example. Maybe like the chambers and how they're kind of vaguely laid out. Sliding over to Minecraft to Java in literally the same exact spot, I slide under the ground and I find a trial chamber. It's beautiful. However, the finer details of this trial chamber, I hate to burst the bubble, but they are not identical. On Java over here, we can clearly see a colorful bedroom did not see that one on the last one and absolutely no powder snow room it looks like we do have some similar rooms going on but there's just a little bit different also over here on minecraft to java i've noticed that i have a second to trial chamber very very close to the structure this trial chamber is a whole lot smaller but it's still a second chamber over on bedrock if i set myself over to that same spot what do you think will happen aha it's beautiful this beautiful is not a lie truly they've done it and very interestingly this trial chamber is also a little bit smaller taking a quick look at it i don't think it's identical to the java one definitely not and oh that looks like a challenge for sure actually i just got a cool idea let's take a look at this structure so we've got spider as this small melee mob very nice hey oh hold up why is one of these blocks stone and the other ones are tough Anyways, the ranged mob, aha, the ranged mob does seem to be exactly the same. We've got a plain old skeleton over here on Java. And meanwhile, over here on Bedrock, we've got different rooms, but we've got that plain old skeleton again. From taking a look at the rest of the structure, I don't know if I'm just having trouble finding the small mobs today, but I don't see any plain old spiders. The final thing we can do to test it is mossy cobblestone. Our melee mob inside of the structure should be the mossy cobblestone one, and yes, yes, exactly the same. So long story short, trial chambers are now finally just as common as they are on Java over on Bedrock. This is a huge W. It also looks like the chambers will have the same mobs for the most part when generated in the same spot. The fact that after so long they finally just made this change and the fact that we know new rooms are on the way very soon makes me think that maybe tomorrow we might actually finally get a taste of some brand new dangerous and deadly trap. One of my personal favorite ideas for a brand new trap is something like this. We have a small hole. We have a little bit of pointed drip zone down to the bottom. We have a, um, a lantern so you can see, almost forgot about that, and then a couple trap doors on the floor, something like this. In survival, all of a sudden debris shoots to me as bad, I fall and I take a little bit more fall damage from the drip zone. Yeah, so I feel like this is a cool way to show it off that like if you fall on dripstone, you take a little bit more damage and maybe I could like use the dripstone to my advantage, push a zombie in the hole, you know, like take it out or something. Excuse me, let me out of the, let me out of the trap. Taking a look at the finer details of the trial chamber, since we last took a look at it, the vault block has been fully implemented and over here on Bedrock, it's fully in the game as well. Functioning identically to Minecraft to Java, except placed backwardly. Hmm. It's a little bit weird. Maybe most beautifully of all, though, the breeze ball has made it over to Bedrock Edition as well. However, it feels a little bit different. So just like how it is on Minecraft to Java, you find a breeze in the wild, you take it out. On Bedrock, it's so easy. You can just spam hit this breeze and like in a couple of hits, literally no time at all, it's gone. I hope they fix combat for this update. Like, seriously, this is, this is so busted. 
Anyways, then I get the wind charge. I can go ahead and use the wind charge on the ground and actually jump up like crazy. And this time, look at this. I just look at the ground. I don't even jump and I'm rocketed into the air. On Bedrock, to pull that off, all I was doing is running around. I looked to the ground and threw a wind charge. If I do that on Java, while well, doing the exact same movement scheme, I mean, I'm jumped, but it's definitely nothing like as high. Instead, on Java, I'm going to use the wind charge and jump at the same time. And if I can get it just right, then I get that rocket jump jump and use at the same time and it works like just about every single time jump and use at the same time and i mean it works for sure on bedrock but it feels like i'm being rocketed even higher on bedrock it's like actually insane meanwhile walk around and use and i'm still just like rocketed way up into the air it feels way more powerful on bedrock this is kind of cool but uh, as a java player i'm a little bit jealous it's also possible to do this whole wall climbing thing. I'm just like absolutely professional at it. Clearly, it's working very good every time. Instead, I'll just super jump my way up to the top. No big deal. Fall damage. Does it cancel it? I mean, yes, it does. But it seems like from my testing, it's like a little bit less smooth. So maybe that's one W that Java has over Bedrock. Maybe, but I mean, it's kind of debatable. This thing is just so much better on Bedrock. It's like powerful and good. On Java, I mean, once you get, like, the trick down, it's not that big of a deal. But it does seem to cause quite a bit of fall damage since the last snapshot. I don't I like, like it. it. So it takes a little bit more skill on Java, but still, either way, this thing is so cool. I really hope they would make, like, a craftable stab for something. Like, seriously, imagine how cool it would be to, say, have to find a blaze rod or two, maybe, like, a stick or two, a diamond or something, so you're going, like, literally everywhere in your world, and then finally a wind charge or something, and look, I know it looks weird, but maybe it would end up crafting a wind charge staff. It would, like, let you use the wind charge a little bit more infinitely. Instead of being, like, this really cool item that, unfortunately, you have to sit at the trial chambers and literally farm it to use, you could make it into a tool if you were smart. And then it would have like a little bit of durability. So maybe you take it and like enchant it or whatever. And the wind charge item itself, it has like an insane use speed. You can use these things pretty quickly every two seconds. Maybe the staff is like a little bit slower, but like you could at least get to use the wind more often, please. I love when they add these really cool things, but I also hate when it's like randomly kind of nerfed or whatever. Please give us a cool staff. It would be so good. And this horse friend right here hasn't smiled in years. He would smile finally again color would seep back into his life please he needs a staff i feel like it's been so long since we've sat here together and done ahead of these updated leaky videos together so if you like it today and you want to see more in the future let me know by tapping like next up we head over to our familiar friend smoky stack it seems like by accident to big question mark by accident maybe the preview is rolling out the playstation edition so for this video, I figured it would be cool to do a little bit of investigation myself. However, sad news. When I opened up Minecraft on my PS5, I tragically did not have the option for preview. So, so I don't know if it's just me because I have my PS5 or what, but I didn't have it. However, some people do definitely have the preview on PlayStation. However, it seems like no matter what, this is not in the store quite yet. This seems to be maybe an accidental release on Mojang's part. To get into this new preview, you're going to want to slide into the menu somewhere. And there should be an option to like, you would tap the button that pops up over here, you install it. And it's basically like a separate installation of Minecraft. It'll be interesting to see what ends up happening with all this because there wasn't actually any official announcement. And this is kind of a pretty big deal. PlayStation never had preview up until this point. It was always locked out of it. So there's been some like rumors about this stuff popping up in the background, a little bit of info dump for a little bit of time now, but I feel like it definitely like wasn't meant to happen if there was no proper announcement about it. Probably in the coming weeks here, we could expect to see some kind of proper big full official rollout, an announcement of preview for PlayStation. Either way, big W. Now, where we shall end today is Armadillo Armadillo. If I hit the Armadillo, it goes into the ball. And as you would suspect, the Armadillo it seems to be fully in parity with where it is on Minecraft and Java as well. Perfect parity asterisk. I guess a lot of asterisks today, though, because it doesn't seem to, like, do its whole, like, head popping out of the shell thing as commonly as it does on Java. It uh, seems to do it a little bit more often on Java. Anyways, what do you think? For the very first time ever, the Trial Chamber has the same mobs on both versions and is the same rarity on both versions as well. With this huge amount of polishing finally being done to this structure, this is a huge step forward for this update. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like me to do more of them like this again, let me know by tapping like. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe.
Maybe consider becoming a channel member today. Just support yours truly and get some cool extra benefits too. Tap that join button for a little bit more info and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.